Hi, and welcome to LB Zero Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB Zero Fox India. And as you saw a couple of videos back, um, I had some issues getting my new to me Kenwood TS790 to work on Digimodes. I tried a rat's nest of cables with DuPont cables, a breakout board, a terminal block adapter for the Minijack plug, and I just couldn't get it to work. I'm not sure why I couldn't get it to work, but I simply couldn't get that to work. So I wanted something that was plug and play. And I had a look at Digirig's website. And unfortunately, getting a Digirig mobile with the correct cables for the Kenwood, for me here in Norway, comes out to somewhere around 135 to 140 US dollars, including shipping and 25% uh, VAT. And that was simply a little bit more than I actually was willing to pay for something for a radio or for a band that I'm not really sure I'm gonna use that much. So I started looking around the internet for other solutions and I came across XGG comps run by Steve and I'm gonna double check his call sign here. Um, G8XGG, um, and he makes Digimode interfaces for a lot of different radios, including this Kenwood. He has a couple of different models, but I wanted to go as cheap as possible. So I picked up one of these. This is the Digimode 3 Micro. It has a USB plug here. Inside the USB plug, there's a CM108 um, sound card and some other magic. There's a 13 pin DIN connector here on the end, and then I choked it off as I usually do with interface cables. That cable came out to be about 70 US dollars, so half the price of a Digirig. That is includes, including VAT, including shipping and everything. I bought this off of eBay and eBay, eBay handles all of these things for me. Um, but the issue always when buying stuff like this is does it work? And um, we're going to get to that shortly. And first of all, I just want to say that this is not a sponsored video. I bought this cable with my own money to solve a problem I actually had. But this cable actually impressed me when I got it. Well, I needed to make a modification because there's something wonky going on with a den connector on my radio. I'll get back to that. But the short version is it was just simply plugging it into the radio plugging it into computer, uh, setting PTT to Vox, because every time you transmit, the cable and the magic inside the USB plug actually pulls the PTT plug to ground and the radio keys. Uh, there's no cat control, but, well, I can manage to go to 144.174 myself. No need for cat control there. And as I said, there was one issue, and we're gonna take a look at the cable here now. Um, I had some issues getting the DIN connector into my radio and it turns out that something in the plug on the back of the radio is, is a little bit bent on my radio. So what I did was that I open up the plug, I remove the top half here of the DIN connector and uh, heat trunk it. That seemed to do the trick. Everything works now and it fits inside my radio and that's a modification I had to do, but that's due to my radio though, and not to the cable design. So I can't really complain about that. And this, as you probably understand, it's gonna be a really short video. Um, I tested the cable uh, last Tuesday uh, during the uh, NAC Open test, the Nordic Activity Contest Open. Um, got, I think I got four QZOs on two meter during that contest. Not a whole lot, but conditions weren't good either. And all I have is a, is a lousy three element beam from Retivis. So I can't complain about that. But uh, my longest contact was 343 kilometers away in Southern Sweden. So 343 kilometers on two meters. I think that's a personal best for me. Um, not that I've played a lot around with weak signal modes on two meters. And that's basically what I have to say. I just wanted to tell you about this cable because I was really impressed both of the service I got when I ordered it. I got a message from Steve straight away asking what radio I was gonna have the cable for so he could make sure that I got the correct plug on it. 
And I got the radio shipped to me in less than a week from the UK, which is really good. Considering that mail is only every other day here, it, it hit one of those weeks where mail only was delivered on uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So uh, no complaining about the price, no complaining about the shipping, the service, everything has been a really pleasant pleasant experience. I'll link it down below um, to where you can find these cables uh, on the XGG Comps website. You can also find them on eBay if you just want a ready solution with VAT and shipping and everything as I wanted. Nothing more to say. I just want to give this cable a real good thumbs up. This has been one of the simplest ham radio products I've ever, ever bought. Um, it just works. And sometimes you just want something that works. I could have made my own cable with a DEN connector with a CM108 interface and probably made it cheaper, but this was just so much more convenient. And sometimes you just want convenience in your life, even as I am. So that's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you watch this far by any chance and dislike this video, thumbs down, please. That also helps me. Leave a comment down below if you have any experiences with these kind of interfaces. Do consider subscribing. I also have memberships down below if that's your kind of thing. It helps me run the channel and all the expenses. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.